We have found the terrestrial planet orbiting Proxima Centauri. It's the nearest exoplanet we will ever found because it's the nearest star to the sun, and we are very excited about it. Scientists <laughs> looking for life on other planets like to talk about the Goldilocks zone, not too hot, not too cold, but just right. And now NASA's found a planet that's right in that zone. Degrees, And that's what makes scientists believe that the potential is there for life. The potential life. is there, and it's, it's very exciting because in the catalogs of planets that we now have, this is the first time we've had an Earth-like planet in the habitable zone of a sun-like star. The discovery of another possible Earth-like planet that's grabbing worldwide attention today. It's true, scientists have previously said they believe there are other planets outside our solar system that resemble Earth in size and may have liquid water. But this latest finding is the closest planet yet found. Yes, it's four light years from Earth, just a mere 25 trillion miles away, but travel there may be possible by the end of the century. Uh, the planet is called Proxima b, circling a small star called Proxima Centauri, as shown in this animation. It's thought to be about 1.3 times the mass of Earth, probably rocky like the Earth, and possibly warm enough for liquid water. Let's... Uh, it is tidally locked, which means there is a light side always and a dark side always. So I suppose the real estate on the light side might be better. I don't know. If you're a night owl, maybe you want to go to the other side. Uh, it's very close to its star, but the star itself is a brown dwarf. It's a pretty wimpy star, and so it can be closer and be in what scientists call the Goldilocks zone, the just right zone where the temperatures are just right for uh, water to exist in liquid form. And here's the thing to remember, wherever we look on this planet, no matter where we go, deep down in the ocean, in acid springs in Yellowstone, if there's liquid water, we find life. Scientists have discovered an Earth-like planet that's not too far away. It's the closest planet to our solar system and the most important discovery in more than 20 years, as it could be able to sustain life. Imagine for a moment that we're living in a world where the unthinkable is happening right now, not in the distant future, but today. What if out there in the vastness of space, there was an alien civilization just waiting to be discovered. And what if that civilization lived on Proxima b, a planet located just over four light years away in the Alpha Centauri system? Proxima b, an exoplanet orbiting the star Proxima Centauri, is one of the most Earth-like planets we've found. It's been the subject of intense scientific interest ever since its discovery in 2016. It's in the habitable zone of its star, meaning it's in that sweet spot where conditions might allow liquid water to exist, one of the key ingredients for life as we know it. But even as we gaze at Proxima b with hope and wonder, there are huge questions that remain. Could life truly exist there? And if it did, could we ever make contact with it? At first glance, Proxima b might seem like the perfect place to find extraterrestrial life. It's located relatively close to Earth in cosmic terms, and it's in a star's habitable zone where water could exist. However, things aren't so simple. The planet orbits Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star that is much cooler and smaller than our sun. The star's radiation levels are much higher than what we experience on Earth, and it's been bombarding Proxima b for billions of years. If life does exist, it would have to adapt to extreme levels of radiation. The planet is also likely tidally locked to its star, meaning one side of the planet is always facing the sun, while the other is plunged into eternal darkness. This creates an environment with severe temperature extremes, where the side facing the star could be unbearably hot, and the far side frozen in darkness. So, the question arises, could life survive such intense conditions? The question at the heart of this script is simple but profound. What if there were an alien civilization on Proxima b? We're talking about a planet that presents us with both possibilities and challenges. Life on Proxima b, if it exists, would likely be vastly different from anything we know here on Earth. The conditions are harsh, radiation, tidal locking, and extreme temperature variations make it seem almost impossible. And yet, we've learned that life is incredibly resilient. Life on Earth has adapted to survive in the most extreme environments, deep in the ocean, in boiling hot springs, and even in radioactive wastelands. So, why not Proxima b? 
As we start to explore this possibility, let's consider what it would take for life to survive on a planet like Proxima B. What kind of creatures could thrive there? And how would they adapt to such an environment? And perhaps even more tantalizing, could we ever make contact with such a civilization? Imagine the surface of Proxima B, bathed in a constant, unyielding light on one side, while the other side remains frozen in darkness. This planet is a perfect example of the challenges that any potential life would face. If life does exist, it would likely have to adapt to the extreme conditions that the planet offers. Surviving on a planet where it's always either too hot or too cold, with constant radiation bombarding the surface. But life on Earth has already shown us that survival in extreme conditions is possible. Extremophiles, organisms that thrive in environments we would consider deadly, are a perfect example. From bacteria that live near boiling underwater vents to creatures that exist in caves with no light, life on Earth can adapt in ways we never thought possible. So, could we imagine an alien life form evolving on Proxima B that is similarly resilient Perhaps these life forms could live underground or deep beneath the planet's oceans, protected from the harsh radiation above. Maybe they've evolved unique biological mechanisms to survive the planet's extreme temperatures and radiation. It's not as far-fetched as it may seem. Think about it. In the darkest parts of Earth's oceans, some of the most incredible life forms exist without ever seeing the light of day. Could Proxima B's life be similarly adapted Living in places where radiation is less harmful or deep underground, where temperatures remain more stable, we're starting to piece together a picture of life on Proxima B. If life does exist, it might not look like anything we're familiar with on Earth. Maybe it's microscopic, thriving in the deep, cold oceans of Proxima B, where the constant radiation is shielded. Or maybe, just maybe, a more complex civilization could have evolved in the Terminator Zone, where the sun's light is constant but not overpowering, creating the perfect habitat for life to flourish. But even with these survival strategies, we still face the larger question. Could a civilization develop here? Could intelligent life, with technology, culture, and society, rise up on such a planet? Or would the harsh conditions prevent the development of anything beyond simple organisms? But even if life could survive, that still doesn't answer the next big question. What would an alien civilization on Proxima B look like? Would they have developed technology like ours? Or would their advancements be so alien to us that we could never understand them? Could they be more advanced? Or have they struggled in ways we can't even imagine? Next, we'll explore the idea of alien technology and what it would take for a civilization on Proxima B to develop the ability to communicate with us, or perhaps even reach us. So, as we continue, we've opened the door to some fascinating possibilities. Proxima B, though harsh, presents a tantalizing possibility of alien life. From the challenges of its environment to the potential of hidden civilizations, we've begun to scratch the surface of what might be. But what about their technology? Their culture? How would they survive in such an extreme place? And could they be more advanced than us? The question of alien technology and civilization awaits as we delve deeper into the potential for life on Proxima B. Let's take a closer look at the possibility of an alien civilization developing on this distant planet. If life can survive, could it evolve to the point of advanced technology? Could it develop the kind of society and intelligence that would allow for interstellar communication? To answer this, we need to consider the conditions that would shape their civilization, their challenges, and the incredible potential of alien technology. What would alien technology look like? If a civilization has managed to survive on Proxima B, they would likely have developed unique solutions to the planet's extreme conditions. Imagine a world where radiation bombards everything on the surface Temperatures range from extreme heat to bitter cold, and a constant day-night cycle doesn't exist. In this scenario, an alien civilization might not have developed in the same way as ours. Consider how humanity's technological innovations have been driven by necessity. The space race in the mid-20th century, for example, pushed the limits of our technology. 
We created spacecraft to explore beyond our world and communicate across vast distances. Similarly, Proxima inhabitants might have created advanced technologies specifically designed to counteract their planet's harsh environment. They might have developed energy shields to protect their cities from radiation, or perhaps their technology harnesses energy sources in ways we can't even fathom. In fact, they could have achieved technological feats like harnessing the energy of their red dwarf star to power their civilization, potentially becoming a type 2 civilization capable of using the energy output of an entire star. On Earth, our energy consumption is still bound by terrestrial limits, but an alien civilization on Proxima, B could have advanced past these boundaries, developing unimaginable technologies, such as planetary scale energy harvesters or radial shields that allow them to live in constant exposure to intense radiation. What if their technology is so advanced that their understanding of space, time, or matter itself is beyond our comprehension. Could they have developed ways of manipulating gravity or transporting matter across vast distances? Their discoveries might not even be possible under our current understanding of physics, creating a barrier between our knowledge and theirs. In recent years, humanity has made great strides in the search for alien life. The SETI Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence program has been scanning the skies for signals that could be evidence of alien civilizations. In 2020, Breakthrough Listen, a major SETI initiative, detected a mysterious radio signal coming from the direction of Proxima Centauri. While it was eventually ruled out as a natural phenomenon, this discovery reignited the conversation about intelligent life beyond Earth. Just like how we've been trying to listen for alien signals, Imagine how the Proxima B civilization might be reaching out to us. Their methods of communication might be so different from our own that we wouldn't even recognize their signals as attempts at contact. If they've already mastered interstellar travel or faster than light communication, could they have sent us signals we simply can't detect with our current technology? Here's the kicker. What if they've been listening to us for centuries? waiting for humanity to develop the technological capability to understand their signals? Could our technological growth mirror their own in some ways? The real question is, are we prepared to recognize the signs of contact? So, let's say we do make contact. What would that mean for humanity? The moment we find evidence of an alien civilization on Proxima B, the global impact would be nothing short of transformative. Just as the discovery of microorganisms in a Martian rock would forever change our understanding of life, contact with a technologically advanced civilization would alter every facet of our lives. Politics, philosophy, religion, and science. Let's pause and think for a moment. If we find that Proxima B's aliens are more advanced than us, how would we respond? Would we approach them with humility, eager to learn, or would there be fear and mistrust? Throughout history, Humanity has struggled to cope with the unknown. Think about how we responded to early contact with indigenous cultures, sometimes with fear, sometimes with violence. Would we repeat that pattern? However, there's another possibility. Unified cooperation. The discovery of alien life could prompt humanity to put aside its differences and focus on the shared goal of understanding the universe. Imagine a world where nations put their conflicts aside to collaborate with each other, using their collective knowledge and resources to reach out to Proxima civilization. If we discover life on Proxima B, will we see a similar pattern of cooperation and division? Would humanity rise to the challenge, coming together as a species in the face of the unknown? Or would the discovery of alien life prompt fear, conspiracy theories, and denial? This is where the philosophical implications come into play. Existential questions would inevitably arise. What does it mean for humanity to be the only intelligent life in the universe? If Proxima civilization is more advanced, would we redefine what it means to be human? Would we question our place in the cosmos? Now, let's talk about the practical side of first contact. The distance to Proxima B for 0.3 light years is enormous. With our current technology, it would take tens of thousands of years to reach the planet. Even if we manage to send signals, it might take years for them to reach Proxima B and longer for their response to return. 
Yet technological advances in space travel and communication may one day make first contact feasible. Projects like Breakthrough Starshot, which aims to send small probes to Alpha Centauri at a fraction of the speed of light, may one day make interstellar travel and contact with Proxima be possible. But that raises another question. If we're just starting to reach the stars, how far ahead are the inhabitants of Proxima be? Could they have already mastered travel to distant stars? Could they be watching us from afar, waiting for us to catch up? So, what do we ultimately make of this? What if there really is alien life on Proxima B? The discovery would completely revolutionize everything we know. It would challenge our understanding of biology, technology, and our place in the universe. It could open new frontiers for science and exploration, or it could ignite fear and uncertainty. But one thing is clear. The very thought of making contact with an alien civilization would mark the greatest discovery in human history a discovery that could unify us as a species, inspire us to explore the cosmos, and possibly even lead to collaboration with beings far more advanced than us. It's a possibility that brings us to the edge of the unknown, a frontier that humanity has been staring at for centuries, hoping to someday cross. The question now is, are we ready?